Today's topic revolves around the number one missing trace mineral in arthritis. For arthritis, a lot of people are taking vitamin D, and they may not see the difference. Other people take a lot of magnesium for their joints, and they also might not feel much difference unless they have this additional trace mineral involved, and that is boron. Now, let me explain what boron is. It's a trace mineral that we don't have a lot of studies on, but there's a lot of data relating to arthritis that I'm going to share with you. Boron seems to be the key trace mineral to allow calcium to work, to allow magnesium to work. If you're deficient in boron, you're going to have excess amounts of calcium and magnesium in the urine. You're going to tend to get more calcification in the soft tissues. You're not going to have the strong bones. So boron really helps keep the minerals inside the bone and allows vitamin D to be activated and help this whole process work. Boron also prevents tooth decay, like in tooth cavities. If you don't have enough boron, you're going to have more inflammation in the joints because boron helps reduce something called C-reactive protein. You may even find that you're getting receding gums, kidney stones, calcium in the arteries, and calcium in the joint because you're deficient in boron. The tissue that contains or stores the most boron is something called the parathyroid gland. Let me explain very simply what the parathyroid gland does. It's these four small glands around your thyroid. And what the parathyroid gland does is produces a hormone that helps control calcium. So let's say, for example, you don't have enough vitamin D or you don't have enough calcium. Well, the parathyroid hormone will increase to extract the calcium from your bone, pull it out so you have enough calcium. So you can look at the parathyroid hormone as kind of like another vitamin D. And what's interesting about the parathyroid hormone is you need this boron to allow this whole thing to work. Even if your levels of vitamin D are normal in your blood, you might have vitamin D resistance. And this is where the parathyroid hormone starts going higher and higher and higher, even though you're taking vitamin D. Well, it's because you have vitamin D resistance, but it can also be your short in boron. So I think a lot of people are deficient in boron because they really haven't put it on the radar as being something they need. Also, if you're low in boron, you're going to have low amounts of testosterone. You're going to have low amounts of estrogen. Now, when doing a deep dive into nutrition, I always look at research on animals, right? Because sometimes with humans, the research is kind of like hidden and buried, but for animals, it's, it's usually out there. And I found something interesting with horses. If a horse is deficient in boron, their head starts shaking because they have a problem with the trigeminal nerve that causes pain and inflammation, and they're trying to do something to get rid of it. Well, magnesium in boron gets rid of it pretty quickly. There's even data that uh, boron can help decrease the risk of prostate cancer. As far as the amounts of boron to take, I would recommend starting out with like three milligrams, three times a day, and see if your problem is resolved after a period of one to three months. Now, some people take a lot more uh, boron, just so you know, like some people take like 30 milligrams a day. You have to realize that the toxicity level of boron is less than salt. And the heavy tilling of our soils have depleted a lot of these trace minerals, including boron. So I just wanted to put boron on your radar just so you know it's out there. And when it does, there's a little more data to know about arthritis. If you haven't seen this video right here, go ahead and check it out. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it, and here's why. Here's you, here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself, and so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.